One of the great gurus of our time is Swami Satyananda, the founder of the Bihar School of Yoga. Vishalakshi wants to play an active role in propagating Satyananda Yoga across the continent. She is currently the president of the North American Gurukul. After almost five or six years of strong asana practice, there was a need for something more, which finally drew me to the ashram, which is Bihar School of Yoga, the little town of Munger in North India. I think a part of me, even before I stepped into the, into the ashram, I knew he was my guru. So the tradition basically is uh, our Param Guru, like our first guru is Swami Shivananda Saraswati. And he worked in Swami Shivananda's ashram for 12 years. And after that, he was given the mandate of spreading yoga from door to door and shore to shore. That was it. And he stepped out and he traveled a little bit. And then he decided that he needed to start an ashram. And that was when Bihar School of Yoga was started. So it is a very, very holistic form of yoga. It involves something for every aspect. It, it sees a person, not just as a body or as a mind or as a soul even. It sees you as a complete being. So it has something for everything. So it, from Hatha Yoga to Raja Yoga for the mind, to Bhakti Yoga for the heart, to Karma Yoga for the hands. So almost all the aspects of yoga are touched with the Satyananda Yoga tradition. So Swami Satyananda was a sort of a, you know, he, had a, he knew a lot about the, the yogic aspects, but he wanted to present it to the common man so that everybody could do it. Yoga was not just for the saints or just for the sadhus or just for that elitist population, but it was for the common man. What is the value of practicing a personal sadhana? So each one of us, we have a common thread, but each one of us have our you know, nuances. And when we study yoga with a master or a teacher, those nuances are observed. And how can we make this person more whole? What are my strengths? What are my weaknesses? What are my ambitions? What are my needs? And on different levels. And a teacher will typically look at, that, at those areas with the student and come up over time with a sort of a sadhana. And that need not necessarily be only asana or only pranayam. It can be some mantra chanting. It can be some havan. It can be some service, some seva. So depending on what we need, that sadhana is, you know, evolved. Mm -hmm.